Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Chi Arizan, co-founder and CEO of Equine Smart. The problem for Spin Pop today, the number one issue for Spin concern is the wellness. But the one component of our solution to the limit, they can tell us what the problem feels. And that is why the 10,000 resources we use tonight each year due to the injury or mistraining. And here's a program for itself that make it a young force to talk. And here's our part. This impact of 90 consensus to help the one third of the biometrics in a real time and a continuous basis. Let's see smart in action. Use the smart bed, force you to pull the electronic piece into the bed, attach the bed to the bridle, and pull the bed assembled inside the horse's mouth. That's the same familiar procedure so to any horse. And all the data is to send a wireless link to Bluetooth to your iOS and Android devices. And we can monitor at the real time or after training from the cloud database. Our market size, there are 58 million horses in the world, and the 70 million of which is a competition horse, and that's our initial market. And 3 million horses that in the factory holds a 60 million, 60 percent of market share, and that's our biggest advantage because that makes our product a get to market easier. And that's our business model because we're going to leverage horse bed manufacturing and selling our product along the bed through their existing retail chain. Where are we at? We have done the patent filing and the initial market validation and also have done the live trial over 260 horse live trial. And we're finalizing design as we speak and we will make an official market launch and the Q4 this year. The most important is this product. This product is nothing, has never been done before and there is nothing like that in the market. And we have four patents to protect our technology. And our revenue stream, the four revenue streams are the hard selling of the hardware, monthly subscription of the, our database and uh, data licensing and IP licensing to horse industry and also advertising for the related services. And our distributor project, we will sell 10,000 units in the first year and our projection is the 60 million revenues in 2023. And how to get there? That is why we're asking $500,000 today. And those are the proceeds, user proceeds for hardware selling and uh, finishing the market design. So uh, this is our team. We build our team around the product. And that's, we all come from a different background and a even different country. But we all have an expertise to make the product and to build a successful product to change the equine industry. Here's where we're going. Everything we have learned from the horse can apply to humans. And that's what we want to do. That our long-term strategy is we're going to apply everything we learned to the human because the champion, champions also can walk on two legs. With the smart bed, now horse can talk. Let's see what the ad was now do. Wish I had a smart bed. <laughs> <laughs> I had seven additional applications on my wellness, as well as understanding how my running was going. I think it would be the end of the Thank you. around the logistics of, I guess I would call it the user experience, except for in this case, the user's a horse. Um, 
So is the primary output of the bit just raw data that a vet would be able to interpret in terms of generating insights on this horse might have something wrong with it or it's clearly not working? You say, yeah. Is the horse or is the bit generating just raw data output that only a vet would be able to interpret or do you guys have some sort of analytics layer that also applies learnings from your past data that you generated to say this might be a recommended solution, this might be what's wrong? We have a goal. On the database, so number one, you can monitor your database. The horse performance and the data, raw data, right on the database. Or, and then you can read on your smartphone or Android devices or iOS devices. But also on the database, we have a, the master of information to educate the trainers, to educate the user what is the root line and what should it be. And the most important is the artificial intelligence down the road because this has never been done before. Truthfully, nobody knows what hardware force an arrow could go, how high it could go, because nobody has ever done this before. So everybody speculating they can go 200 or anything, but after we collect enough data, then people will learn. And every horse is different. So you're going to learn that your horse maybe can go higher or lower. That's a hall. Down the road. So my, my question kind of dovetails on that. Immediately, as you, as you collect more data, who knows what you can do with it, as well as the interesting things. Immediately, as you think about uh, the kind of value prop to the, to the horse owners, can you help connect what the product does in terms of collection of data and vitals? to prevent a broken leg or some other injury like that because I think that's maybe maybe I'm oversimplifying it, but that would be helpful. Yeah, there are some range that of course our range should be and there are some scientific study like a blood oxygen level and the body temperature there are some study but it's more we will provide those data those guidelines but also the horse trainer will long-term goal is for you for um, humans for this kind of, of uh, device? Yeah, human, because we can learn the live, real-time, continuous basis data from the 